Hi everybody, welcome to this Photoshop tutorial. This is just a quick one. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to look how we can add a little extra something to these highlights quickly and easily. Uh, a lot of people refer to this as a, a wet look method um, in the sense that sometimes it has the appearance that the skin's moistened or you know glistens if it's slightly wet. Uh, but we're going to do this by using the color range tool. So if you pick on the color range, and the idea is, is you pick a color from one of the highlights. Uh, let's just pick this one on the eye, for example. And this fuzziness slider is almost like a tolerance slider. Uh, in other words, your the higher you make this, the more tonal ranges it's going to include. So what you're looking to do is just pick up certain highlights. Um, what I'm probably looking to pick up is the, the eye, a little bit on the nose here, and the lip. So I can see that they're, they're being selected there, but if I move it down just a bit more and try and get it so those, those areas are included, but other areas aren't. I'm going to move it up a little bit because I don't want this one to disappear too much. We can reselect it any time if you go down to this area here and then try getting it that way, but and we'll try last of all on the nose to see if we can get a cleaner selection that way. And I think we were probably better off where we started, so we'll go back to there. Now we are getting some additional areas here, but I'm not going to worry about that too much at the moment. So I'm just going to click OK. Now you can see there's marching ants on all our selections. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the quick selection tool, press my Alt key to make it a minus, and I'm just going to scrub off any areas I don't want in the selection. And I think that's most of the stray pixels gone. I'll we'll probably get those few just there. Um, I might even try and add a little bit along there. Now whilst our selection's live, I'm going to create a new layer. Select on that layer. Shift and F5 to bring up the fill dialog and we're going to fill this with white. Now it might be a bit strong down here but we do have tools to be able to, to deal with that. So the first thing we're going to do is change this to overlay. Control D to deselect. And you're going to want to bring this quite a way down. Um, I would say for me normally it's around about 10%. I am going to leave this a little bit brighter than they ordinarily would just so you can actually see it on the video because um, I'm aware if it's too mild you won't even see the difference you should be able to see where the highlights are appearing and disappearing particularly on the eye the end of the nose and the bottom part of the lip so I'll just flip that on and off again and it does look particularly nice on the lips um, it does add a very nice feature when to lips and eyes and things like that well, because this is on its own layer, obviously we've got the opacity slider. But if some areas are, are too much, you can get the eraser tool and just take your opacity way down to somewhere between 10 and 15%. And if, for example, if we think we like it at this intensity on the lip, but not so much across the eye, we can just run that eraser tool. over there to bring it down Perhaps a little bit on the nose so now the effects are still on the eye and the nose but not as intense as they are on the lip Might just drop that down a little bit on the lip so there you have it a quick way to add highlights and to give a a moist or a slightly damp look to the skin thanks for watching I hope you find this useful till the next time Bye for now.